So I am starting in the back of the store today. Um, I did just walk in. Um, that's a pretty color, but um, I can tell it's not a, a great quality. There's some there's some some pretty stuff put back here, but um, I did grab a pair of shoes out of um, the rack. They are a pair of Coach. They're pretty worn. I'm not sure I'm going to take them, um, depending on what they have priced at. And then I grabbed these little pair of like. Um, I don't know, they're kind of like a taupe Sherpa boot. Um, I really like them. I think they're they're probably brand new. So I did grab those two out of the front rack. Um, so, so far, those have made it into the cart. So it is, it is a nice Friday morning for me. I'm not sure exactly what day this will come out, but we're, we're out, we're out looking. This looks like a sack bag. Is it a sack bag? Oh, it is. It's actually very nice looking. Um, I don't think it's going to be worth that price though. Um, so we'll probably just have to leave that behind. That's Their stuff just really doesn't um, have a lot of value to it. So we're going to just have to keep looking. And I do see the little Reebok bag. And what's this one right here? That's that's a really nice color. Um, oh, but the leathers, you can see it's all come peeled off of right there. But we can't take something like that. I do think that they're gonna be bringing out some carts though because it looks like their, their shoe section, because you know, I walk by here to get to, get to the purse. It looks like their, sh their shoe section is, is a little light right now. So I do expect to see some purses come out and maybe some shoes oh that's a naturalizer a little silver metallic silver bag um what is this right here okay that's nicole that's a nicole bag and i know i've seen some of these before and they're still sitting here so here's this one right here what is that Oh, that's definitely an old Brighton. That's a wallet bag right there. But $15, it's a little expensive for that. So, some Franco Sardo, some Lauren Conrad. You know, I think we'll come over here and we'll look at the wallets and the accessories. You know, like I said, the accessories are still um, $4 in here, so. We'll come in, we'll take a look and see what we can find. This is probably some kind of like a jewelry, like a travel case. A little lavender makeup bag. We do have some um, wallets and stuff here. It looks like they put some stuff out. So let's see what we got over here. Okay, so that one is probably not something I'm, I, I think I need. The bag girl, wearable bag art. It's cute, but nah, not my favorite. Oh, here, here's a, okay. So this this brand is really popular in Europe. They have stores all over the place. So um, I will take this little bag. Um, I've, I have bought their stuff before. It's usually very expensive and it's brand new. Um, they don't have a price on it, but for four dollars, I have a feeling it's it's got value because the store is is very expensive. Um, I think I bought myself some perfume there years ago, and I still have it. Um, okay, let's see what else we have over here. Some definitely some Vera Bradley. This one's kind of cute, like the Mako Croc and the different colors, but there's no um, there's no label or anything on it, so I think we'll probably just have to leave that one sitting there the Victoria's Secrets is still there Got a couple of generic ones down there but nope check down at the bottom too because you never know well I got one out okay let's go ahead and um, look at the shoes over here and see if we can find some some good stuff I feel like I've put some beautiful shoes in my um, these are pretty soul society um, I feel like I've put some really nice shoes in the uh, eBay store. So, um, you know, gearing up, looking for, now I've, you know, I've changed gears and looking for all the, the summer stuff and, you know, the stuff that, um, 
people are cleaning out the closets and, and getting ready and, and dropping things off, dropping off winter stuff. So that's okay, you know. Aerosols. I don't think I've ever seen a pair of aerosols like this. These are chunky. These are almost chunky like a Doc Martin. Um, they do look brand new. Um, I've never seen aerosols make something that looks like this. I'm a little, I'm a little curious. It is, it is a leather. I'm going to put it in the cart just because this, this is not something I'm used to seeing from them and they do look brand new. So I, I want to make sure and see if that's something, you know, something new they've got going on. These are Bernardo. These are very pretty. Um, six and a half. This is definitely a heavy duty sandal. I mean, this this is probably one of the heaviest pairs of sandals I've ever picked up. This has got some weight on them. I'm gonna stick this in the in the cart too. Like I said, those are those are heavy. Um, so we'll take a look and see if there there's something that's gonna go with us. Kind of excited to be out. It is cold outside, but it's really nice just to be out today. So maybe we'll find some good treasures. I do see these. These are borns. Um, these are actually um, the oh the fronts are pretty worn. I, I wouldn't I wouldn't they're 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 a bigger size. They're a ten, but yeah the front of those don't look so great to me. And on both shoes it's like that. So I think we'll we'll leave those. You know sometimes it's just a little bit of cleanup, but when they're when it's wearing off the front of it, I I don't want to send it out like that. So I'm up here just looking at the, the boots and stuff like that. Yeah, they're definitely gonna be bringing some stuff out today. I, I can just, I can tell. I can, I can hear carts moving in the back and stuff, so. Doesn't mean that they're gonna get to it right away, but. Now what are these? Those are bamboo. Okay, we got some bandolinos up there. Those are some generic ones. What are these? Oh, those are Dr. Scholl's. Those are actually the, the, the wood ones, like the old candies shoes. That's, that's what that looks like right there. Here's another pair of, of Jack Rogers, but those look pretty worn. And like I said, the Jack Rogers, they just don't, they don't sell like they used to. I mean, that used to be an easy pickup. Uh, not, not as much anymore. So, so I guess I still, um, I still, I still see them. I see a lot more of them now. Just not, um, not going to be, not going to be on my list. A lot of these I've seen are still here, and the reason probably is is because they had some some damage to them, which I totally understand. You know, it's going to take a lot a longer. You know, people people that um, resell. You know, we we we're used to these are wow, those are really nice looking too. These are actually Lucky Brand. You know, people that resell, we're used to cleaning shoes, so we don't look at a shoe and go, oh, it's you know, it's it's horrible, it's horrible. Because I mean. You know, I've, I've gotten pretty good at cleaning shoes, so that's kind of a cute, I, I do kind of like it. It's just a simple little slide. Um, I doubt it has, you know, much, much value. These are cute too, these little, oh, the inside's pretty messed up, but these little Ralph Lauren, these are like a, a canvas women's sneaker. Well, I'm not grabbing much in the shoe aisle today. What are these red ones? Oh, and as I said that, I would be wrong. Look, 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 Fly London, absolutely, all day long. One of my favorites. So, yep, that's an easy one right there. Perfect, perfect. Um, if you've ever tried Fly London shoes, they're, they're, they're expensive, but they, they do hold up very good. Like, I, I have 
I have a pair in my closet and I've had them for three years and you know I, I don't I don't think I'll, I'll get rid of them when they wear out I won't re, I won't resell them because I don't like them I'll, I'll wait until they're just worn out and then then they'll go just because I know I've been I've uh, they've been such a staple for me and what are these oh sketchers okay now we're hitting up the men's aisle. Well, kids and men's. Like I said, it's funny because I've noticed that the men's is getting smaller and smaller and smaller. So the kids is the kids is starting to creep out of here into the men's. <laughs> I feel bad, but hey, yeah, I guess that's just they have to move with whatever donations they have. So I don't know. Are these Bostonians? Oh, they are Bostonians. I was I had a feeling they were Bostonians. Um, I do like my men's shoes, but I don't think those are the ones I want to go with. Gallus. I've got I've got so many pairs of brown men's dress shoes in my store right now that are very similar to that. So I think I'm gonna just wait on that. I think I would rather find things that are things that are different. Well, I did find a couple of things over there, so that was good. What are these right here? Nope, X appeal. Those, those are really, really lightweight. So, all right. So we're gonna go back here. I'm just trying to keep away from people. So, you know, trying not to get them on camera, but sometimes it's a little hard. Sometimes they move and in a direction, and I don't know, you know, what where they're gonna be. I'll look at the old pajamas, the vintage pajamas. I know there's some resellers that do really well with that type of piece, but. Um, that would not be me. Okay. Oh, these are pretty. Did you guys, did you guys see these soup mugs? These are from the boss. Those are, those are pretty, but they're, they're actually not, um, what's it called? They're not, um, they're not drip glaze. We got some, uh, got some little, um, 25th. Okay, this looks like a commemorative, like a pewter plate. Fun Lux. I guess these are all wires and stuff. Four bullet camera. No, I guess it's not what they say is in here. What are these? bullet camera huh I think we're gonna have to open one of these I don't know if there's an actual camera in here from what this box is telling me it's hard to tell okay definitely not it's some kind of a uh, piece thing that goes in there so obviously this is gonna be way above my ability so we'll, we'll just put that back and we'll save that for somebody else that looks that looks like an ammo can yeah, that's an ammo can. Um, what is this? A, a VHS reminder? A rewinder, sorry. Okay, let's check this one too because we didn't get a chance because somebody was over here. A wonderful countdown to Christmas. Here, let's pull this up and see. Okay, it's an Avon. I'm doing good, how are you today? Okay. Well, I wouldn't say that that one is old, so I'm gonna pass on the red phone. I do, I will buy old phones, but I, I know that one's not old. Okay, so we've been through this, we've been through that. Let's hit up this one too. <laughs> oh, these are kind of cute. Look at the little candle holders. That's a little like a little beehive jar. This is like a little collectible shell. That's like a little um, splatter, splatter glaze, but they're actually ceramic. Here's an I Love Lucy uh, salt and pepper. These are actually salt and pepper shakers. That's interesting. We'll look for damage, but you know what? Those could be kind of fun. I think they're, they're adorable. So let's see what else we have down here. It's a pink, 
bread dish. I, I mean a butter dish, sorry. I keep meaning to pick myself up a butter dish, but I somehow I don't think I want a pink one. Just don't know why. Okay, definitely some silver and stuff in there, but we've got Colorado. We have a cranberry set, a silver plate. Well, I don't think um, that one's gonna work that great. So let's head, go ahead and head over here. Oh, there's some more of those little things. Here's a Mikasa candlestick. Um, we've got some yarns and some scrunchies. And we have the, the Pilgrim Girl. She's very pretty. Oh, TJ Maxx. Okay. So we have the big Pilgrim Girl. We do have some milk glass in here. Lots of hangers and pitchers. Uh oh. Here is a Precious Moments, and this is a Nativity music box. Now, normally I would be interested in Precious Moments, but being that it's a Nativity piece, I'm gonna look it up. All right. And then, And then I'm gonna look over here and see, these are some, probably some um, bits of some kind. We do have a vintage ashtray. That is, um, I think it's an ashtray. Not positive, I think it might be though. We got some, def definitely got some glass in there, my book, instant storage. And it's an external hard drive. Western Digital. I've heard of Western Digital. You know what? I'm going to put this in my cart and look because it is brand new and I don't have to guess that it's brand new. <laughs> Sometimes I see a lot of those, but I don't pick them up, but I've actually heard of Western Digital, so I might do it. And we've got some interesting toys and things like that here. Includes all the Lego bricks you need gadgets. I have sold these, but I'm not going to say this is new. So without it being sealed, I don't want to find out that it's missing pieces. I just, I, I don't want to find that out. So adventures on foot, new world. We have some play pieces and some of these, some of these look like uh, decor. We have a football, but it's, it's pretty torn up. What do we have over here? Oh, a keyboard. Okay, well is this, let's find this. It looks like it might be new, Amazon Basics. Okay, so I wouldn't say that's gonna be a name brand of any keyboard. So I'm gonna leave that one right there. Oh, look at how nice this is. Well, yeah, that'll take. Design needlepoint. You, you guys know how I love my, my home ex stuff. Okay, so that looks like one of those um, portable uh, television DVD things. We have a electronic pulse massager. Here's another one of those caboodles bags. So put that one over here. Let's see, we'll put the caboodles. I gotta move it up so I can see what else is down here. Okay, so we do have a, we have a camera um, tripod. Um, sometimes I do pick those up, but this is a pretty big one. So I think I am gonna leave that. I do see the Louisville Slugger. This is a Hallmark frame. You know what, I think I'm gonna leave that too. That box is pretty beaten up. Hallmark can be very, very um, collectible. You know, I, I do I do love me some Hallmark, but. Okay. Here's a watercolor set, brush and pencils. Let's see what these are, light modes. LED headlights, interesting, okay. I don't know enough about that to want to take that. Soccer, soccer something. What is this? Oh, it's just a Revlon brush. Max Studio is probably a makeup box, and I can see there's some pumps for tires down there. 
What are those? Snap bands. Okay. These are snap bands. Bath bomb set. Oh, we do have some toys down here. Some of these are used to be pretty good, but this one's been opened and um, this has got the farmer people. And then there's another one over here that has the horsies in it. And I do see the tennis, tennis rackets. Um, yeah, I think I'm gonna keep on, I'm gonna keep on moving over here. It's, We'll see what we can find. <laughs> That's cute. This one has the cozy, the cozy, the around the <laughs> around the mug. That's cute. Okay. Got some more Hershey mugs up there. All right. We got some, temp I can see the temptations down here. You know what, let's, let's head over here. Oh yeah, I've sold a few of these too. I love the green glass, um, but for that price, it's they marked it at $14.99, so it doesn't, um, it's, not a, it's not a pickup at that price for me. What are these? Tools for candles. Ah, interesting. Ooh, that looks like an old meat thermometer. And you don't see those that often, though. Oh, they do have a lot of silver and stuff here. This one's pretty, too. Here's another one that is a nativity. This one's got the Holy Bible in front of it. You know, as I said, I'm not a, I don't usually pick up a lot of this stuff, but if, it, if it's, if it's, you know, you have to look some of them up. Okay. So he's putting the cart back. I did glance over my shoulder, but he's he's putting the cart away. He must have got it all emptied up. Oh, this is pretty. Look at the little chicken on top. That's cute. I like it. Got some cows. That's a threshold, okay. See anything else I need to have over here? All right. Oh, what about this? Okay, some salt and peppers. Some of this has been sitting here a while. Well, I'm not going to be able to get down that aisle. Sometimes people, well, they know you're there. They just, they don't want to move. So that's how it is. So I'm down looking at the green and the pink. We've got some little pieces. I'm going to hit the, we'll do a run by of boys and the Christmas and see if we find anything over there that we want to look at. All right, we are back. Someone had some questions. So we are back. Look at the Harry Potter blow up. That's really cute. That beer kit, that beer kit's been here a long time. Oh, look at that. We have a little, um, gosh, what are those called? I want to say, it's not a xylophone, you know, one of those, oh goodness, I can't remember it. You guys know what I'm talking about. Dan Aykroyd always used them in his films. I can't remember what the names of those are though. <laughs> All right, so we do have some games up here. I am looking at the, the toys and seeing if anything catches my eyes. Well, here is 
Transformers 2. Ooh, this, this might be good. This is older. The, the box is the box is pretty mangled, but it is it is in there. So you know what? We'll we're gonna toss that. We'll toss that in and we'll we'll see if that is does anything. We got some U Gears locomotives and the 40. Oh here's Oh, these are very cool. Oh, these are new. Steampunk air, steampunk airship, submarine. You know what? I'm curious about these, and the reason I'm curious about them is I probably like buying one at a time. They wouldn't be very good, but if you can lot them together, I will check on these because it might not be worth it for one. But you never know if you have a few of them. So I'll put that in the cart. All right, so I, I think actually, see, I changed my mind. I'm gonna head back over to the other corner so I can do like a little recheck and figure out like what I'm going to, what I'm gonna do. That one's pretty, I like the purple. What's the purple? Oh no, that's pretty, I like the color on that. Okay, sorry, got, you know I got distracted. I gotta start finishing my sentences. So I'm gonna head over to the other side and I'll do my quick, um, my recheck and my make sure you know, everything is in good working order. Cause that's, that's the important part. All right, so let's go ahead and we'll head back over there. It's quiet and the light is good over here. That's one of the reasons I like being over in the corner is because like I can really look at things and you know, I'm not in anybody's way and stuff. Like I can literally just sit here and you know, look through it all. So I'll catch up with you all in a little while. Hey everyone, I wanted to do a quick recap. So today was kind of a, a busy day. Um, believe, believe it or not, even for being a Friday, um, we were up early, someone was having a moving sale. They did ask me not to film in the house. So, you know, obviously I, I obeyed. Um, I did get a lot of really nice stuff. Uh, I did get a Kate Spade uh, purse. Did get some um, video games. Um, I also got a um some beats headphones um i did get a purse i actually got a like it's like a louis vuitton pouch i'm pretty sure it's not real i also got the louis vuitton wallet um i don't think they're real they're very nice but I i'm assuming they're probably not real anyway i did get a pair of white aerosols um i also got a pair of uh bernardo um, I did get at a, so after that sale, I went to a children's sale. Um, I really didn't know what to expect, but I did get, as you can tell, a couple of toys. I got some more wrestling figures because I love my wrestling figures. I did get a Winnie the Pooh um, snow globe. I got a Dr. Seuss McElligot's pool. I did get some Sonic pieces. Um, in this box is a Lennox Ghost. Um, I paid $10 for it, but it's very pretty, but it, it's all nice and wrapped up, so I don't wanna mess with it. I did get a uh, La Aquitaine, um, I guess it'd be like a little makeup bag or something, but it's brand new with tags on it. Um, I did get at that first sale this morning, a Wedgwood um, bird and it was $2. It's like a little, um, you know, trinket box thing. I did get a tumbler, which is a knife cutting block. It actually has very good value on it. I think we only paid a couple of bucks for that this morning. I did get some of these Williams Sonoma Halloween plates. I got eight of them. Um, I paid $8, so basically like a dollar a piece for them. And believe it or not, they actually have really good value. So, um, you know, that was actually a really nice little pickup. I don't know if I'm gonna do them individually or lot them together. 
I did pick up at the children's sale three of these little models uh, rockets. Um, I paid $3 for the three of them, so it was not expensive. I did get the Vera Bradley messenger bag. I've got that for a dollar this morning at the moving sale. I also got the uh, belt bag. I picked up the belt bag. I think I paid $6 for the belt bag, but I did grab that also. Um, I also got a pair of red Fly Londons, and you know I love my Fly Londons, so I did pick up those um, at the Goodwill today. I also got those other little boots with the Sherpa. I think I might keep those for myself. They're just so cute, um, and I did grab those also. Uh, I also got a pair of these, so I told you about the Bernarders and the Aerosols. Um, as far as like this load goes, uh, I, I just got a random assortment of things. I spent a total today of $155. Um, you know, not a huge amount. I did get, uh, Carl got a, a book. I got him a book today also. Um, you know, the bulk of it was probably just, it was just, you know, almost evenly spread out wherever I, wherever I went. Um, so, you know, like I said, I got the most stuff at, I, oh, I also got this really cool, um, pillow kit over there also, you know how I like those type of things. Um, and in this Kate Spade, it looks like it's brand new with the dust bag and it's such a pretty color. So, you know, I got a really good variety of things today. Um, and I also got this purse too. This is made by Pingo. I'm not familiar with it, but I can tell it's a very high quality. I guess it could either be like a sling bag or like a backpack. I'm not really sure. Um, it's it's very unique looking and the quality is, is just really nice on it. So, you know, I did grab that. So all in all, I spent $155 today. Um, you know, not a, not a huge, you know, day by any means, but for as many places I hit in a short amount of time, it was a good day. So, you know, as usual, thank you so much for subscribing. If you haven't, you know, please, please do leave a comment. If you'd like, I'd be happy to get back to you. And, um, the link, uh, to my eBay store is in my, um, link tree on, on the YouTube page. So, you know, as usual, thank you so much for watching. I truly appreciate it and I will see you all soon. Bye.